Now let's learn to find out the range from the given statement of a function, all right? And here we have three given statements, three different functions we have, and we are going to find out the range for the all, all right? The question is saying find the range of each of the following functions, where the first one let's do. That is saying f of x equals to 2 minus 3x, where x is a real number, that x belongs from the real number, and x is always greater than 0, all right? So we are going to deal first, and then uh, rest of this second and third we'll be doing in the next videos, all right? So here function is f of x equals to 2 minus 3x, where x is from real number and x is always greater than 0. Uh, this can be solved by two methods, one by showing in table, another just by logically. Uh, okay, so see here, first, uh, in the first way, I'm just trying to solve it here. Uh, we know that here, x is, we know, you know, we know, x is greater than 0. So, if x is greater than 0, then everybody can say that 3 times x will be also greater than 0. Okay, if 3x is greater than 0, then my dear friend, you tell me what will be the value of 2 minus 3x, how much it will be. All right, 3x is already greater than 0. It may be, it may be, it may be like, uh, like 0 0.001 or 0 0.0001 or like 1 or anything like. But but always and always, you know, like it may be like 3, 4, 5, 6. It may be anything bigger. I mean, but it's greater than 0. So whenever you are going to subtract even a single bit from the two, then definitely you will get a number less than two. Right, because you're going to subtract that. So anybody you're going to subtract even a single, 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 very, very small thing from the two, then it will be definitely less than that two. All right. And next thing, two minus three x. What is this? And the question is saying two minus three x is equals to f of x. So I can say that now f of x is less than two. And here is our deal of range. We deal for the range. The statement is now saying us that your range is always less than 2. Always and always less than 2. Even not 2, alright? It's not equals to 2 because if, if x will be equals to 0, then that case only you will get like 3 times 0 and you'll get 2, alright? But x is never going to be 0. It's always greater than 0. So that's why here we can say that now range is uh, from negative infinity to till uh, 2, alright? Open bracket. And uh, one more method we have to, to do this. Uh, you can use your calculator just by making tables, all right? X and f of x. So x is greater than 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put 0 0.01, all right? What will be the result? I'll see. And then I'll put 0 0.005. Then I'll put 1. Then I'll put 2. Then I'll put 100 or whatever, all right? Because always you had to put x as a greater than 0. Okay, then my calculator 2 minus 3 times 0 0.01 is giving me 1.97, 1.97. And now 2 minus 3 times 0 0.05. This is giving me 1.85. And again, 2 minus, when I'll put 1, that's very simply, uh, you can find out that's minus 1 and when I'll put 2 here so 3 times 2 that will be 6 so I'll get here minus 4 and when x will be 100 this will be 300 and 2 minus 300 that will be minus 298 so you can see these all numbers you know these all are these all are less than 2 you know these all are less than 2 so by looking this table you know it's very clear that always our f of x value is always and always less than 2 so therefore range is from negative infinity to till 2